We recently added 3D projections and noise effects to HANA, allowing you to wrap layers into 3D objects, adjust perspective and lighting, create noise glass, and add distortion. These features will help you create visually interesting interactive designs and will guide you through how to apply them in HANA. We'll explore how to manipulate depth, perspective, and texture to create visually dynamic designs that stand out in your projects. Let's start with the first example, this widget carousel. This design was created using the 3D projection effect that wraps 2D layers onto a three-dimensional shape, adding depth, curvature, and realistic lighting. For this, we need to take all the parts of our carousel and place them in a frame together. We created widgets using the vector tool to design the UI and added states and events so each widget has their own animations. We used auto layout to align them and keep them neat. Now let's go to effects and select 3D projection. Click on the settings and let's go through these. In type, you can select between cylinder or sphere to wrap the 2D layers onto. In this case, we'll use cylinder. Here you can adjust the radius of the 3D shape. Let's keep it at five. The height parameter is only for the cylinder type. It lets you control the vertical height of the shape. We'll set it to 2.50. The wrap area defines the surface that is wrapped horizontally and vertically. We'll use 100% for the X axis and 15% for the Y axis. This way we maintain the height of the cylinder but make the UI elements bigger by making the wrap area smaller. In rotation we'll use minus 13 for the X axis and 150 for the Y axis. Perspective controls the amount of depth distortion, meaning higher values increase the perspective effect. This time we'll keep it at 90. Here in resolution, you can choose the rendering quality you need, and inside you choose whether the effect applies to the front, back, or both sides of the 3D shape. In this case, we'll use both. Let's set the lights to yes, adjust the lights and shadows to give it more depth, and change the shadow's color to a light blue. We want the back to be darker and the front to be brighter so we can adjust the light height and direction here. And to create this simple animation, we'll rotate our carousel to minus 15 degrees. Go to the 3D projection settings one more time and adjust the Y axis rotation. Add a start event and a linear transition with a duration of 10. And don't forget to add an infinite loop. Now let's look at how we can use it to wrap images around a sphere and create this awesome planet Earth with a very realistic animation. Once we have our frame, we'll add a rectangle and replace the color with an image. Let's go to effects and add 3D projections, but this time, instead of the cylinder, we'll select the sphere. Set the radius to three and use the light settings to add realism. You can adjust the color, the intensity, the direction, and angle however you like best. We can animate it using the same principles as we used with the carousel, but changing the Y axis rotation to 360 degrees to achieve a perfect orbit. And to create this subtle glow in the edge of the planet, we'll create a transparent ellipse and add an inner shadow effect to it. Very subtle, in a soft blue color. And here's the final result. 3D projections offer countless design possibilities and serve as an incredibly versatile feature for all kinds of designers. Now let's explore the layer noise effect. The layer noise effect is like adding texture to a smooth surface. It creates those natural looking bumps, waves, and patterns. 
You can add the layer noise effect in the effects panel as well and click here to tweak the settings. For this example, we are applying the noise to a gradient to create this design. In noise type, you can select the noise algorithm, simplex, FBM, Voronoi, and sine, each with a different look and feel. You can adjust the blur as well. We'll keep it at zero since we don't need it right now. Here in type, you can select between uniform, that applies the noise evenly and progressive, which applies it gradually across the surface. Amplitude helps you control the strength or displacement amount, and scale adjusts the size and frequency of the pattern. You can stretch or compress the noise along the horizontal or vertical axis. Use offset to move the noise pattern across the surface. We animated this scene using this value. And you can also animate the noise pattern over time with the movement parameter. And using seed, you can randomize the noise pattern, so the same seed will always produce the same result. This flag animation is another good example of how you can use the layer noise effect. This design is using the simplex noise and progressive type with a linear falloff. When progressive is selected, you'll see more parameters available. Amplitude helps you define the starting and ending strength of the noise across the progression. Position start and position end set the start and end positions for the noise effect. The progressive mode works similarly to gradients, so you can also move the handlers with your mouse to control the start and end position as well. And fall off. It determines how the noise transitions between start and end. You can choose between linear and radial. We also added another effect, noise glass. Think of the noise glass effect like looking through a shower door or a rainy window, it bends and twists what's behind it in interesting ways. You can use it to create frosted glass effects, rippling water, fire, or even that wavy look you see above hot pavement on a summer day. The settings are very similar to the layer noise settings, so let's take a quick look at them. Here you can choose the noise pattern, same as before. Blur makes the distortion softer, and you can choose between uniform and progressive too. Amplitude controls the intensity of the distortion. Keep in mind that negative values invert the displacement direction. And you'll see scale, stretch, offset, movement, and seed parameters as well. This example was made applying the progressive type and a radial falloff to this rectangle. Plus, we added a follow event to create the interaction. We hope this guide helps you unlock the awesome potential of the new 3D projections and noise effects in HANA. We're super excited to see what amazing things you'll create. See you in the next tutorial.